Hi guys, I'm Brandon. And I'm Jodie Lee. And welcome back to By Fate, where we're on Listen 8. And today is Friday, so is the summary. And so we need to know what the, ju what the jury is out. Um, was that day that you spoke about, I think Wednesday, your favorite lesson for the week? Yes. Or did Thursday win? No, Thursday was cool. <laughs> uh, Thursday, we, for those of you who didn't see, go back and watch Thursday's video. But we spoke about um, how idols are uh, not important and that God can't be depicted by an idol. There's no graving, there's no image you can paint. The best paintings, Picasso's, uh, the Renoir's, the, the Michelangelo's and the Leonardo's, if they all collaborated, teamed up and worked hours, hourly and uh, hourly. hourly. <laughs> <laughs> if, they, if they worked for massive amounts of hours and collaborated and put all their best efforts together, they couldn't paint a picture that does God any justice. They would look terrible. They would fail because who could you liken him to? I think that's Amen. what the prophet yes. Isaiah said. Who can who you liken like God? God to? Yes. You know, um, even if you think of the worst human in the world, uh, and you want to compare him to like the best human, I don't know, whoever that may be, maybe like <laughs> Adolf Hitler on this side, and then on the other side, who do people really love? Someone Nelson Mandela. Like Nelson Mandela. <laughs> if you put them on like two opposite sides, Mandela probably has a couple things in common with Adolf Hitler. You know, they both have noses. They probably both love their kids. I'm sure Adolf was a bad guy. Maybe he loved his kids. If he had kids, but yes, know? he yes. would have, yeah. If he had. Um, Adolf was a great artist, you know, and I'm not trying to sing his praise. I'm just trying to say that the difference between humans is like, it's very small. Compared you know? to God. Exactly. And then you get to God and the very best human is so inferior. If you look at John the Baptist, he is a filthy, disgusting pig compared to what Jesus Christ <gasps> That's was. That's mean. But, but what I'm trying to say <laughs> is the difference, here's, here's Hitler. There's Nelson Mandela. There's John the Baptist. There's Jesus Christ. It's off the screen. You guys can't see it. Just simply because who can you liken God to? There's yeah. no one close to him. There's no one in the same vicinity as him. But um, so that was a cool lesson. But no, Jody. <laughs> Wednesday still takes the cake. So you have to go check out what Brandon described. He had really cool analogies on Wednesday. I think if I remember correctly, it was about a God of mercy and yes. a God of power. Exactly. Um, which is a really cool contrast. I don't know if you want to add anything else on that day to summarize. No, they have to go and watch it. Okay. But that is essentially it. Exactly. Okay. You summed it up you really well. Summarize. It's a story about how God juggles his power with his love for us. That, it was very beautiful. And I think my favorite part was actually the beginning of the week because it was all about God giving us comfort, which I think is something that we all actually want um, and probably all need because I know a lot of my friends are going through really tough times with family members who have COVID or work issues or just life in general is quite stressful. So comfort is definitely something we need. And I like the beautiful thing that, I think it was Monday and Tuesday's lesson spoke about um, how was God gonna provide this comfort? Well, two ways. He was gonna give us his presence, okay? Um, and part of his presence was him coming and he was going to do all the work that needed to happen for him to come right and to give us our, his presence remember sin separating us so he in order to give us his presence had to destroy sin which is what Jesus did on the cross right and the second thing that gives us comfort is that God is faithful unlike us humans who like fail God is faithful he never he's trustworthy we can always trust in him and that his promises are true and that is just beautiful and then the last one you have to go check it out there were some cool comparisons between the Old Testament and the New Testament and prophets in the New Testament talking about Jesus and Isaiah in the Old Testament Ooh. but basically they were all giving the gospel so did you guys know the gospel was actually in the Old Testament if you didn't know go check out I think it was Tuesday's lesson so yeah that's Basically, the lesson is in a, a natural comfort, God, Isaiah chapter 41, I think it is. Or is it 40? I think it's Isaiah chapter 40. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 40 in a nutshell. So we hope you'll go check out the other videos. Outside of what actually we tackle on uh, in this lesson, but as you spoke about, like how the gospel was in the Old Testament, we spoke about it earlier on in the week about the story of um, Abraham. Yes. And when he had to sacrifice Isaac, his son. If you think of that story, you know, what's really happening there? Abraham was told to go sacrifice his son. And then when he got there, he said, whoa, don't sacrifice your son. I've provided a lamb. Take that lamb instead. That was foreshadowing what was going to happen in the New Testament, that Abraham who was uh, in place of God mm -hmm. would have to send his son and his son would die. But when Jesus Christ got to the cross, there was no lamb waiting for him. He, he, he was the lamb. He was the one that had to die. So in the Old Testament, it's amazing. If you look for it and you try to see it, Jesus is all over the Old Testament. So beautiful. Um, I'm sure we'll find some more of him in the next few weeks. Um, but that's it for now. So should we tell them some videos to watch? Yes. Check out Wednesday's video. Oh, and check out Tuesday's video. There we go. Shall we close in prayer? Awesome.
Heavenly Father God, we want to thank you for this wonderful week, Lord, filled with amazing lessons that remind us that you are a comforter, that you are a merciful God, and that you cannot be recreated. There is no one who can uh, paint you the way that you look because you are just so magnificently beautiful. We love you, Lord. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>